all right guys so today we had a very uh, interesting kind of a market and uh, this is the daily chart of nifty so let's see where we are right now so we had nifty trading in a range for almost about a month right so between 15 750 to 16 uh, 400 there about so 15 750 to uh, somewhere around 16400 market was trading in a range for quite some time and then there was a breakout uh, after the breakout typically what happens is that in a in a bullish market you will see a good follow through right so the next day maybe the day after that there is a decent follow through which takes the market a little higher but uh, the day after the breakout uh, was a very poor follow through same is the case after that so i think include everybody including myself thought that the breakout that happened was a fake breakout right so what normally what we expect is that of after uh, a breakout has failed maybe the index will go back into the range right that's typically how it is done but i think um, there is a surprise element which we saw today and that that's i'm sure came as a surprise to a lot of people so let's take a look at how the day panned out so so this is the previous day slow right so the market uh, held on to the previous day slow in the morning itself but it was not able to build on that momentum right away right so after that there was a, a decent 75 point correction uh, and then but then again the market picked up so this is kind of a treacherous market which is not very easy to trade so this is what you are seeing right now this is a recording of how the day went so as you can imagine that the day was uh, very brutal in fact uh, throughout the day i i, I would say about 90 percent of the day i only saw losses and uh, at one point i accepted that okay this is how it is going to be right but eventually the time decay kicked in and uh, you know made some profit but trading on these kind of days is hard and uh, one of the things that i uh, you know was looking at myself how i was reacting to how the day was going on so one of the things which i uh, felt a little frustrated with was that when you have a short call option and you have a short put option and one of them is going against you you would expect that the option which is in on the opposite side would give you equivalent profit at least if not at least a reasonable profit right but for quite some time what i observed was that uh, one that was in the losses the, la the losses were piling up but the one that was supposed to give me profit was not giving profit right? so that was something which uh, was a little frustrating but but then again in trading it's not so much about how we expect the market to behave it is our understanding of how the market works is what really matters right so instead of craving about okay what what is this uh, why the market is not doing what we are supposed what we are expecting it to do we should basically understand okay this is how the market works right so essentially what i was waiting for throughout the day was the time decay right and some point the time decay kicked in and as you guys can see that uh, around three o'clock or so that's when uh, things went into the green and then reasonably well so this is not a bull market right so this is not a bull market where the rallies are going to be spectacular this is not something where the dips are going to be getting bought aggressively that's not how these markets are they, we are in a very treacherous range bound market where rallies are being sold gaps uh, you know uh, you you have corrections that are getting bought so normally my advice is to trade with a lower position size so that you can manage your trades because like what happened with me today was that my stop losses were getting hit on both sides right so when the market was coming down my put option stop losses got hit and when the market went up my call option stop losses got hit so anyway that's that's basically how the day went so i hope that you guys also had a, a good trading session and uh, we will uh, discuss more about the market in the subsequent videos.